one thing I've noticed uh, just through my experience is sharing Amina's voice, and um, you know, I, I'm I'm so grateful to you know the librarians especially who've embraced the book and have you know been very very positive about it. But um, to what you know we were talking about earlier, I, I did write the book for everybody, and I wanted her to be a relatable character to anybody, and and more than anything, I wanted people to be able to understand her and her family, and and hopefully grow to love her and her family, and and have increased you know, compassion and tolerance for, for Muslim people through her experience. Um, and I find a lot of times people will uh, be excited about the book and then they'll tell me, I can't wait to share this with, um, you know, an Iraqi refugee student I have. Um, and I, I think that's lovely, uh, but I think an American child of any background would probably identify with Amina more than an Iraqi refugee. And I feel like sometimes that, you know, I've heard that many, many times or, you know, some variation of that same thing. And I, and I you know, like I said, I'm, I'm grateful that they want to share the, share the book and they're, you know, seeing it as a mirror book for, for kids. But I feel like I, I you know, I, I, I want to remind everybody, I'm like, it's a, it's a window. And I think right now we need those windows so urgently.